A picturesque opening weekend at Phoenix Municipal Stadium was characterized by a plethora of offense for the Arizona State Sun Devils. Entering Sunday afternoon's contest, ASU was looking to keep the bats rolling against the Santa Clara Broncos, coming off of back-to-back -back games with 10-plus runs and two wins to show for it. Right-hander Tyler Meyer towed the rubber for the first time since May of 2022 and struggled to get around the potent Broncos offense. He was one of five pitchers that entered the game for Arizona State as nothing was working for Willie Bloomquist's hurlers. Um, you tried to put them in situations where they have a chance to be successful. Um, and, you know, right now it, it was, it was tough, to, tough to pick and choose those spots. We were just kind of throwing guys into the fire and trying to get out. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to need to evolve a little bit better as a pitching staff um, in order to, to uh, you know, shorten games a little bit better than, than we're doing right now. The dynamic Arizona State offense had no plans of slowing down. Star center fielder Isaiah Jackson became the first Sun Devil since 2007 to record 10 RBIs in the season opening series. It didn't stop there, however, as the rookies, vets, and everyone in between got in on the fun. The Sun Devil offense over this three-game stretch tallied 38 total runs, and the story today, well, it was led by true freshman Ethan Mendoza and backstop Ryan Campos. Mendoza with a five-hit day, quickly transitioning to Division I baseball and Campos' side, two home runs, but Santa Clara ultimately flipped the script. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I just came today just trying to help the team win, and I mean, five hits, and that's obviously like amazing, like me personally, but like the team didn't come on top, so like hopefully next time we, we get the win. Just being ready to go early. Um, you know, don't, don't hang around. I know they're going to try to you know, pitch me backwards and stuff like that. So I'm um, just being ready to go from now. Constant lead changes brought the game into the late afternoon tied at 12 to 12. After a two run ninth for the Broncos, they had the momentum to finish the job in the bottom half. The top of the order stepped to the plate for Bloomquist squad as Harris Williams hit a leadoff home run to cut the deficit to one. The Broncos faced a few more mishaps, allowing the star center fielder Jackson to step up to the plate with the game on the line. Jackson took a monster cut and just missed the barrel, flying out to conclude the three-game set. Despite the loss, confidence is at a premium for Arizona State following the series win, as a tough Kansas State game presents a difficult homestand in the coming days. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Aiden O'Neill.